Yes, Howard, what is it? Well, I will be... I'm, I'm putting on a roast for dinner tonight, so don't eat too much of that. Can you... Leave it in the ice box because I'm thinking about making apple pie later. It it won't irritate your arthritis. Now put it put it back up. I'm gonna make a roast. Yes, we'll have potatoes. Now I need to make some phone calls. You're gonna go Well go on up to the hardware store. That's fine. I'm gonna make some calls. I got some stuff to do. If you could pick up some fertilizer, that'd be good. Just get a bag of fertilizer. Well, my, my pansies need some. I'll take care of that later. Okay. Uh, okay. Got the Avon order. Early. No, no, it's fine that you're on here, actually. I wanted to ask you something. Um, yeah, well, I had, I had a little, I had a little accident. Um, no, 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 we're fine, we're fine. I just happened to trip going across the street the other day, and I dropped my Avon book in a mud puddle, and no, I was not wearing those high heels. I just happened to trip. You know how sometimes, no, I, I know it's hard to walk in those. That's why I don't wear them very often. I only wear them on Sundays. I was going across the street, and I tripped, and I dropped my book in a mud puddle, and unfortunately, some of my orders got messed up. Did you... Now, I know you ordered some stuff from me a little while ago, but are you waiting for something to come in now? Well, I'm going to Western Auto, and then I'm going to go pick up the order. I'm going over there in a little bit. I just wondered if I needed, if there was anything in particular. The beauty bell? Okay, well, I have a box of stuff here that I picked up. Um, no, I picked it up Monday, but I had the flu, and I've been really sick, and I haven't really looked through it yet. You ordered the beauty bell purse? Okay. Now, you know, did I mention with the beauty bell purse, you get that free Diamante collar? It's like a, it's like a, a choker. No, it's nothing dirty. It's a, it's a, that's a type of necklace. Yeah. No, it's not a murder mystery book. It's a necklace. A choker. Not choke her. Choker, like the necklace, a short necklace that, that sits up on your neck. Well, I'm not aware of any Bible verses that go against that. Did you order? Which beauty bell purse did you order? Sequence. Well, I happen to have one of those here. That may be yours. Okay. Yes. Um, no, I don't have it right now. How many jars of moisturizer did you order? That's what I thought. Yeah, that's an awful lot. I, well, I know it's none of my business. I know it's not. Uh, well, that may be coming in today. Western Auto, they're having a sale on sleds. Yeah, I'm going to pick up a sled or two. Mm-hmm. Well, you never know. We might get some snow this winter. Okay. I'll, are you coming by later? Can you bring back my... I need my casserole dish back. And my, my pan for pot roast, because I want to make a pot roast in a little bit. Piggly Wiggly had the pot roast on sale. They had the... the yeah, they have roast on sale right now. They do, and if you if you get one of the big ones, no, I heard about that. If you get if you order one of the big ones, the butcher will give you some free trimmings. Mm hmm. Well, it's real good in green beans. You drop that fat back in there. Now the fat back's not from the roast, obviously, but he'll give you some fat back, and you could drop it in your green beans and just let it boil, let it stew, it has a real nice flavor. Okay, well, we'll get on by there if you can. You can take the streetcar out there. Yeah. All right, can you get off the phone for a little bit? Your brother had what now? Well, if it, 
athlete's foot can wait. You can talk to him later. I know it's irritating, but it's not going to kill him. Okay. Well, I don't think Vaseline will do anything for that, but you can try. Get you some salve. That'll weather work better for athlete's foot than that will. Just get some good salve. Okay, I will talk to you later. Okay. All right, bye. Oh, that reminds me. Um, let's see who ordered that. Um, and then Barbara had the recipe. She just needs to get her own women's home companion cookbook. I'm tired of looking these things up. Boston brown bread, cornbread, vegetable soup. That was in here somewhere. Tomato and rice puree. Potato bisque. Here it is. Here it is. Hello, Barbara. Hey there. Yes, I, I was going to call earlier. I was. But you know, I've been sick myself. Mm-hmm. I'm doing much better. Dr. Brown's taking good care of me. Oh, he was just out here yesterday checking on me. He gave me some more, mo uh, some more of that morphine stuff. I tell you, it's wonderful. Have you ever tried that? Makes you glad you're sick. Okay. I do have that recipe for you. Are you, you got some, you have something that you can write on? Okay, grab a pencil. Now, who is this for? It was for Gerald, okay. Well, what's wrong with Gerald? Is he okay? Oh, is that right? Well, I hope he can get some new ones pretty soon. Now, for false teeth, you have to go all the way up to Winston-Salem, don't you? what I thought. Well, bless his heart. Well, what in the world ever possessed him to do a jawbreaker eating contest anyway? Uh-huh. Well, that's not much of a prize. I don't believe I would. I don't believe I'd try it for that. Well, even if it is a lifetime supply of candy bars, I don't think it's worth it. And he broke how many teeth? Okay. So I guess, um, I guess y'all aren't coming for dinner tomorrow night, huh? I'm, I, well, no, I, I thought about doing some stew beef and potatoes, that, but that's actually not too bad. He might be able to gum on that a little bit, or his, I guess his mouth is kind of sore, though. Well, I hope he gets to feeling better real soon. Now, let me give you that recipe for potato bisque, okay? Now, here's what you're going to need for that. Now, it's quite a few ingredients, but it's... Now, this is probably all stuff you already have. You're going you're gonna to need two and a half cups of diced potatoes, a half a cup of chopped onion. Now, you can use, you can use those. That's fine. I prefer the yellow onions, but that's fine. You will need two sprigs of chopped parsley. You can use the flakes, but it's not it's not quite as good, but it's it's okay. You will need two celery tops, just the tops, one and a half teaspoons of salt, uh, mm -hmm, two one and a half, and then two and a half cups of water, one and a half tablespoons of butter, and one and a half tablespoons of flour. You don't have to sift it, it no. Three cups of milk. Uh, and then you're going to need one or two eggs, slightly beaten, and salt and pepper to taste. And usually I don't put the salt and pepper in there until after it's all done. And then I let people just individually decide how much to put in there. You don't have to add any while you're making it. Okay, now here are the instructions to make it. You're going to combine the potatoes 
onion, parsley, celery tops, and the salt and water. You don't have to add the salt. Salt and water in a saucepan. And you bring it to a bowl and you cook it very gently until the potatoes are tender. And then you're going to strain it and press the potatoes through, this, through a sieve and then you add it to the stock. And then you can make a white sauce of the butter and flour and milk, and you add it to the, so the stock. Now just before you serve it, you want to combine the slightly beaten egg with the soup, and you heat it, and then you season it to taste. And I'll let individual people season it in their individual bowls, however they want to. And then you can top each serving with grated cheese, chopped parsley, or a dash of paprika if you want to, and it makes six servings. Now he should not have any trouble eating that. It's nice and hot. Yeah, it's got good stuff in it. It's filling. So that way he doesn't have to have, you know, he doesn't, can he eat bread or anything? No. You know, it occurs to me, where would you even participate in a jawbreaker eating contest to start with? That sounds... Well, no, I wasn't going to say it sounds made up, but I've just never, where he did it, where? Mount Airy. Wow, he must have been really motivated to drive all the way to Mount Airy to be in a jawbreaker eating contest. Oh, I wouldn't know anybody else that participated. Yeah, probably not if it was in Mount Airy. That's pretty far. Mm-hmm. Oh, and when he broke some jaws, he ended up with some bruises on his face. Or when he broke his teeth, he ended up with bruises on his face. That's pretty severe. Mm-hmm. Will you make him that potato bisque, and you tell him to lay down and take it easy? And maybe he can call Dr. Brown, and he can get some of that morphine. It's, it's drops. You get these little morphine drops. And that, I think, would help. Maybe he'll feel better. Okay. Well, good luck with the false teeth, and I uh, no, I am going to pick up an order. I'm going to Western Auto, and then I'm going to pick up an order. Did you order anything? Because I dropped my book in a puddle, and I... You didn't. Okay. Do you need anything? Is there anything I can get for you? Well, now, remember, uh, we're doing Beauty Bell products, too. Um, it's, it's, um, it's an affiliate of Avon. It's Beauty Bell. And they make jewelry. They have beautiful necklaces. I'm holding one right now. They are, they are innovators in the jewelry uh, industry. And they have come up with these beautiful necklaces that they make with glass beads. They are beautiful. And I would love to have you come take a look at some. Well, I imagine with everything going on with Gerald right now, you probably don't, you probably don't feel like looking at jewelry right now. And the right, and you have to pay for the false teeth too. So we'll give it a, give it some thought, and maybe we can get together and look at some of the Beauty Bell products in a few weeks. Okay, well tell Gerald I hope he feels better. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Okay, that's Barbara. Look at the recipe. And do, 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 do. Beulah, hey, it's me. Did I catch you a bad time? Oh, I'll make this quick then. Um, I, I... Now, Howard said that you called the other day and you had a complaint about one of your Christmas wreaths. You ordered two of the Christmas Splendor wreaths. Well, what was, what's the matter, honey? Okay, well, no, they are not. It's what now? Tug proof. N no, it's, it's a... Beulah, it's a wreath. I can't guarantee that if the neighbor's dog plays tug-of-war with it that it's going to stay intact. I mean, uh, I 
I don't think that would qualify for a refund, especially since you've had it now for about two weeks. Um, so what happened with it? Was it just the one wreath or two? One of your Christmas Splendor wreaths. So the dog jerked it down off the door and then played tug of war with your son. He was trying to get it back. Okay, well, if there's a dog chewing on it and pulling on it and it breaks apart, I don't know that Avon is going to want to give you a refund for that. Uh, okay, well, it, it, it's not its not Sears and Roebuck. It's Avon. Or maybe Sears and Roebuck's products are built to last, but we're talking about a Christmas, a Christmas wreath here that's made out of pine branches. Yeah, they're... Okay, it's it's not like stainless steel. No, I'm I'm not belittling the subject. Well, I'll tell you what, you bring you bring the wreath by here or what's left of it, and I'll take a look at it and as your local representative, I will then make a determination as to what we should do. Because I want happy customers, of course. That's right, the customer is always right. So why don't you bring the pieces out here and we will look at it together. And then maybe while you're here, we can take a look at some of the new Beauty Bell products. Oh, you did? Well, that's wonderful. You know, I would be more than happy to speak with you about some of the beautiful Beauty Bell products. We have purses, we have necklaces, we have bracelets. And it would be wonderful, especially with your daughter's wedding coming up. I would love to help outfit the entire wedding party. I think that would be wonderful. We have, we have stunning simulated diamonds made of genuine glass. Oh, you have to see it to believe it. It's absolutely wonderful. Yes, and we do give a discount if you purchase multiple uh, necklaces. Or bracelets and they have some rings as well and we have we have special wedding wedding accessories uh, for like uh, hairpins and things of that nature I think that would be great well when would you like to come by no I can't do it this afternoon because I have to go to Western Aldo I'm gonna pick up a sled and then I have to go pick up my Avon order so maybe tomorrow how about tomorrow morning? Mm -hmm. And do you have my hot rollers? Remember I loaned them to you before Christmas? I, I know it's so hectic. Don't worry about it. If you could bring my hot rollers back, that would be great. Yeah. Oh, you broke one? Mm. Well, everything's getting busted up at your house, isn't it? <laughs> um, I tell you what, if you take a second look at some of my Beauty Bell jewelry, we'll we'll we'll. Call, we'll I'll forgive it and we'll call it even, okay? Yes, I do have some of the lipsticks. You need, um, you need some of the simple pink? Okay. I may have, I may have at least a sample that you can use until I get your order in. Okay, we'll talk about all that in the jewelry tomorrow. You can come by any time before lunch. Yeah, and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be making a lemon meringue pie tomorrow. Maybe we can have some pie and some coffee and just look at everything together. Okay. Well, Beulah, I look forward to it, and I'll bring your wreath, what's left of it, and we'll take a look at that and everything else. Okay. Bye bye. Busted wreath. Busted. doing today? I'm doing just fine. Thank you very much. Yes, I am. May I please speak to her? Thank you. 
Linda, hey, how are you this morning? Oh, I'm, I'm doing just fine. Thank you. How, how was Christmas? Wonderful, wonderful. Yes, we, we had a great, we had a great time. Thank you very much. Um, no, well, I am kind of calling about that. Look, one thing I did want to ask you was, I dropped my, my Avon book in a puddle, and I can't read it. Did that, did you place an order last week? No, I know I should remember that. As a good representative, I should remember these things. But I truly cannot remember if you placed an order last week or not. You did not. Okay. All right. No, I just talked to her. Have you... No, I just talked to Barbara on the phone a minute ago. Did, have you heard what happened to Gerald? Have you heard about that? Have you seen him? Well, that's why he wasn't in church. You want to know what happened? According to Barbara, Barbara said he was in a jawbreaker eating contest in Mount Airy and broke all his and broke a bunch of his teeth. He didn't break them all, but I don't. It, it, she said he broke four or five, like broke them clean in half. No, there. Have you ever heard of a jawbreaker eating contest? Especially one in Mount Airy. They don't do anything there. You go there for a pork chop sandwich, that's about it. Mm-hmm. No, I'll tell you what happened with him. Well, you know he's a hothead. And you know occasionally he likes to go across the bridge over there, over the river, over into the county where it's not dry. And he goes to that bar. Yes, he does. He goes to that old seedy bar, and I know what happened. He went over there with his old hothead, and he got in a fight and got busted up. You know that's what happened. No, but see then, well, then Barbara had to cover it up. So, and I'm telling you, if the best she could come up with was a jawbreaker eating contest, I'm not too impressed with her imagination. That's what she told me. With a straight face, she didn't sound like she was laughing or anything. Said he went to Mount Airy to a jawbreaker eating contest, and then she said real quick, like she goes, "Oh, you wouldn't have known anybody else that was in it, cause yeah, it was in Mount Airy, so you wouldn't know anybody else." Real quick, you know. Oh, I know. I, I, it's pitiful, is what it is. It's just pitiful. So now he's got to go get false teeth. He's got. They've got to go all the way to Winston to get some false teeth. Yeah. Well, I, honestly, I feel sorry for her. She never has any green stamps. I tried to get some from her the other day. She never has any. Well, I, I don't know what she does with them. Um, Gerald may... Well, Gerald may have something to do with it. He's so mad all the time. Maybe he takes them from her. Maybe he, maybe he doesn't want her buying them. I'm not real sure. I don't know what it is, but she never has any green stamps. Um, yeah. So, oh, oh, you know what she, you know what she said? She said that um, the jawbreaker eating contest broke his teeth so bad that he ended up with bruises all over his face. <laughs> he went over to that bar and got himself in a fight. I guarantee you that's what happened. No, she didn't order anything because she said they got to save up for the false teeth. <laughs> I tell you, it's always something over there at their house. Remember that time he beat up that goat? They still talk about that over at the family reunion every year. Yeah. Well, he drop-kicked it all the way across the pasture. There was a picture of it in the paper. Yeah. It was It was all anybody talked about there for a week or two. Mm-hmm. At least still there was that incident with that cow, and then everybody forgot about the goat. Um, no, well, if you didn't order anything... um. I don't think I have anything for you, but I do want to check and see. Yeah, well, you did order that. How did you like that pressed powder? Now, personally, I love it. It looks very pretty. It looks very natural. We had, well, Howard and I had our pictures done. We had a portrait made. We haven't gotten it back yet, but we had a picture made, and I wore that pressed powder, and you know that photographer said I look like a movie star? He said, and I was wearing that hat with the cherries on it. He said, I look like a movie star. Well, it made my day. He said, I look like Mar Marlena Dietrich. That's what Dietrich, that's what he said. It made my day. Um, I'm trying.
trying to put together a little a little informal thing tomorrow. Are you free tomorrow? Maybe around lunchtime. I was thinking about making a lemon meringue pie and having everybody come in and check out my new beauty pill products. Well, they, they have all kinds of pretty things. They have purses. They have jewelry. And I would just love to have you come over and we'll have some pie and some coffee. And we'll just look over the beauty pill products. Oh, you're busy. You got a hair appointment. Well, the hair appointment's not going to last all day. Oh, you're getting a permanent. Well, sometimes those do take a while, especially. Well, especially when Trixie gets to talking. You know how she is. Mm-hmm. Well, she always knows the gossip on everybody, and you know how I don't like gossip, so I try to get in and out of there because I... Well, it's it's just not appropriate to, to gossip. I mean it's not it's not appropriate. I'm just conveying information. I just thought you'd like to know about that. It's not gossip if it's true. Now, Trixie, you don't ever know with her. Yeah, because she likes she does like to put on a little bit and she will embellish stories somewhat. Oh, you gotta go. Okay. Okay, well, well, don't let it boil over. Okay, I will let you go. Go go turn it down. Okay, well, I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. Hello, darling. May I please? No, I'm not Mrs. Claus. Can I please? I'm not the Tooth Fairy. Can I please speak with your mother? I'll. Oh. Okay. Well, why don't you go change the baby and just go? Why don't you help her out some? What have you? What are you doing? You having a tea party? Well, can you leave your tea party long enough to tend to the baby so I can speak with your mother, please? Thank you. Oh, Arnold. Arnold, no, I was... She handed you the phone. No, I was waiting to speak to Ellen. She's not literally pulling her hair out, is she? Oh, okay. Well, we'll see if you can just part the kids like the Red Sea and get to her. Can I just, can I just speak to her real quick for just a minute? I promise I won't bother her. Thank you. Ellen. Hey, what's that screaming in the background? Which baby is that? Your second youngest. Okay. Well, I was just... No, I was just calling to see how your Christmas was. That bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Are they driving you crazy? Well, they'll be back in school before you know it, and that'll get some of them out of the house, at least the ones that are in school. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know what it's like to have six kids. You're right. Uh, I could possibly babysit sometime, but, you know, being a, being a businesswoman, it's kind of difficult. Now, I wanted, I wanted to tell you that I got your, your order. Yes. Yes, it came in yesterday. Um, it was in one of the boxes that I opened. I got your new purse. Yes, it's the Beauty Bill purse. Yes. Well, I'll take my earring off. Makes it easier to talk. Um, no, it's as big as I told you it was. You do. 
Well, if you have a hiding place, I'm sure the kids won't mess with it. You're not having second thoughts about this purse, are you? You know it comes with the free lipstick. Yes, it does. Well, how about you hide the lipstick in the purse, and that way, once you find a good hiding place for the purse, the lipstick will also be safe. How many girls have you got? Four girls. I thought you had three. Oh, you lose count? Well, I understand that many kids. You can't be expected to know how many you have of each. Um, you know where my mother used to hide stuff? She used to hide stuff behind the icebox because we never thought to look back there. We were just curious as to what was in the icebox. We never actually looked behind it. So she would stuff stuff back there. She'd just kind of stick it back there, and we never saw it. If we had small Christmas presents, she'd hide them back there. Or you can put things in a, in a gunny sack and hide them in the coal the coal bin. That's another good spot. You just we just have to make sure you have to make sure Harold doesn't stuff it in the furnace when he's putting coal in there. <laughs> that could be unfortunate. No, no, no. Look, no, honey, honey, no. Ellen, sometimes you have to do special things for yourself, like me. I got my, my bonus from Avon for all my Christmas sales, and the first thing I did, I ran out to the florist, and I got the most beautiful flowers. I got an arrangement with roses and lilies and some fluffy things, and I don't know what they are, but they're beautiful. You have to treat yourself every now and then, especially with all those kids running around. Well, he doesn't have to like it, now does he? You deserve a special treat every now and then. Now, I can bring this by if you'd like. I'm running out to Western Aldo, and then I have to go pick up another Avon order. I could bring it to you. I will. I, I, see, but I was just going to drop it off. I don't think I can stay. You know, not not really stay. Like, if you wanted me to stay and watch children, I, I don't, I just don't think I have time for that right now. Well, I have to get to Western Aldo, and then I have to pick up my order. Well, if you need a nap, why don't you just send the kids outside? Well, the bigger ones can watch the little ones, and then you can get a nap. I don't see why that wouldn't work. Well, they can't break a bone every time they go outside. I mean, maybe this time you'll be all right. Okay, well, I would love to help, but unfortunately, if I come by, I'm just going to basically run in and throw it at you and run out. But don't take it personally. I have to get to Western Auto. Okay. Well, good luck, and I know you have to get back to it. I'll talk to you later. Okay. All right, bye-bye. you back. No, I'm, I'm leaving shortly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, my back's fine. I'm not worried about it. I put some salve on it. It's doing better. I have another order to go pick up, and then we're going to have pot roast later. Yeah. Well, stay out of that ice box, and you, you leave that alone. I'm going to use that later. We're going to make, we're going to make some pie. Okay. All right. Do you want to come with me? You don't trust me in Western Auto by myself. How much trouble can I get into in Western Auto? I'm just going to pick up a sled. Well, they don't sell those products there, so I should be fine. Yeah. Okay. No. I was just I was just looking to see if I had something in here. No, I don't need anything right now. <clears throat> I have a few more phone calls to make and then I'm gonna go. No, I'm not buying ice cream. Why would I get ice cream at Western Auto? I'm not going to Piggly Wiggly. I'm not going to the AMP either. No, I'm coming. I'm going to Western Auto, picking up my order and coming back. And then we're gonna make pot roast. We'll go take a nap then. Read the paper and take a nap. 
Earlene, hey, I'm almost done, but look. No, I wanted to tell you about Gerald. Have you got a minute? Get, please, can y'all get off the phone? Can you talk? I know athlete's foot is irritating, but I, I have a few more calls to make, and then y'all can have the line for the afternoon, because I have to go. Western Auto. I told you earlier. Put salve on it. No, Vaseline won't do anything for an for, uh, athlete's foot, honey. I'm sorry. It's just going to make your foot slimy. Now, wipe it off and put some salve on there. And then use cotton socks. But let your feet breathe. You got You can't leave them in socks all day. you got to let your feet breathe. And that's how you get rid of athlete's foot. I won't tell anybody. I know it's embarrassing. Y'all don't worry about it, okay? Get off the... Can y'all please just get off the line? Hey, wait, wait. Earlene, let me tell you something. No, you can get off the line. I just want to talk to Earlene. Hang up. Y'all can talk later. No, I want to tell you something. You know why Gerald wasn't in church on Sunday? Well, I know he was supposed to be an usher, but he couldn't be. You want to know why? Well, I just talked to Barbara, and she said he was in a jawbreaker eating contest in Mount Airy, and he busted his teeth all up. Broke his teeth clean in half. Like four or five of them. There is no such thing as a jawbreaker eating contest, Arlene. No. Oh, she said he went all the way to Mount Airy to be in that jawbreaker contest. Now, who's going to drive all the way to Mount Airy for something so foolish? And she said real quick, she said, oh, oh, there was nobody else involved that you would know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like having a boyfriend in Canada, and that's what you say. Oh, you wouldn't know him. He's not from here. Yeah, kind of like that. Well, his face is all bruised up. She said he got bruises all over his face around his eyes. Yeah, from, from the broken teeth and the jawbreakers. That's what I thought. He's been going to that bar, and his hot temper got him in a fight, and he got beat up. He finally... He finally got on to the wrong person. And, yes, and they cleaned his clock for him. Yes, they did. <laughs> well, anyway, she said that he probably won't be in church because they have to go to Winston to get some false teeth for him. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, yeah. Well, that means Howard's going to have to be an usher again this coming Sunday, too, whether he likes it or not. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll let you go. Just just give me a minute, okay? I just got to make a couple more calls. Oh, that's what I'm calling about. That's what I want to know. That's one of the main things. I may actually sell some Avon or some Beauty Bell in the process. Okay. All right, honey. Bye. Well, Carol, hey there. Yes, well, you sound awfully out of breath. Are you okay? You ran to the phone. Well, I didn't mean to make you run. Yes, I was calling because... That's right, I was calling about that because actually the other day, I tripped and I dropped my Avon book in a puddle crossing the street and I can't really read my orders right now. And see, normally I would remember my orders, but I can't remember them this week. Did you order anything from me? That's right, you did. You ordered some moisturizer, didn't you? You ordered how many jars? You ordered eight jars of moisturizer. Mm-hmm. Oh, you heard some great things about it. I bet you did. Well, um, that order, that's going to be part of the order that I pick up later today. I'm going to go pick it up and I can bring it out there. Um, well, no, I don't, I don't think I asked about it. 
Jean the trash man told you that? Of course, honey, I would never ask around about you. We discussed this before. No. I... Carol, am I the kind of person that would be that nosy? Would I really go around investigating somebody? No. Oh, I know it's none of my business. I'm not worried. Oh, you were stripping down at the party. You you needed the wine and the towels for stripping down? And all those, all the people were there stripping down too? Oh my good, Carol, you really don't have to explain this to me. <laughs> oh, oh, you were stripping wallpaper. Well, what in the world was the wine and the towels for? You were, you heard that you can use wine to strip wallpaper? Did it work? So you pour, how do you pour wine on the wallpaper? You pull it back and you pour it and it seeps down in there and then you use towels to scrub it? Well, I've never heard of any such a thing. So you were having, you were having a wallpaper party, kinda. So you were, that's what you were stripping off in your house, wallpaper. Well, of course you were. What else would you be stripping off? <laughs> now, I never said that. Of course you're not a nudist. I, I know you're not. <laughs> you what now? You're having another party? Oh. Oh, you already sent out the invitations. Oh, well, uh, yeah, my mailbox is bare, but. You want to use what? My hot rollers. Um, well, I'm hoping to get those back from Beulah later. And one of them's broken. Uh-huh, you want, wait a minute. But you just ordered eight jars of moisturizer. With a... Are we talking about the face cream? The Avon face cream. You need 12 more jars? Not 12 total. You need 12 more? Okay. No, I'll be happy to place that order. order. Now, when is this party, though? Oh, I'll get it back by then. If I place the order today when I pick up this order, I should get it back by then. No, I know it's none of my business what you need moisturizer for. You don't need to tell me. It's 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 fine. Um. Mm hmm No, I know anybody can have a party that they want to. I, I certainly would never begrudge you. No. Mm hmm Oh, I understand. We can get together and play Pinochle anytime you want to. Uh. Okay, well, I, I know you're a very friendly person. I know you have lots of, of interesting friends. I understand that. Yes, there's nothing wrong with that. It's good to be friendly. Well, I will place your order. Um, yeah, and if you hear anything else from Jean the trash man, I mean, you can, you can certainly disregard that. <laughs> I mean, well, you know, I'm sure he just misunderstood me, I, but I, I wasn't asking about you anyway. You know, I wouldn't do that because that's, that's just, I mean, that's just being nosy. I would never. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I will, I'll tell you what, why don't you come by here and you can take a look at some of the Beauty Bell products I have. Maybe some of your party friends would like some jewelry. Oh, we have beautiful stuff. We have necklaces, we have bracelets, we have purses. Oh, your friends don't have any use for jewelry. They don't like unnecessary layers. Oh, well, I bet not. I mean, of course they don't. That's, they're, okay, they're simple people. Well, we won't worry about it then. How about makeup? How about some Avon? They don't like to wear unnecessary things. Okay, okay, well, say no more. Well, that's fine. So you heard from Arlene that this moisturizer is miraculous. Hmm, so you need a total of 20 jars of it? 
before your party. So you're going to need all 20 before the party. Okay, well, I'm going to make a note of that right now. Also, this isn't really my kind of party. Okay, well, if it's not my kind of party, then I guess I don't need to worry about the fact that you clearly want my hot rollers there, but not me. Okay, well, I will get your moisturizer. Handcuffs. Carol, why would I be selling handcuffs? That's for police officers. No, I don't know where you can get handcuffs. Maybe at a joke shop you could get some fake ones. Uh, no, I, I don't think I can help you anymore, Carol. I, um, I, I'm starting to get a little bit of a headache. Um, okay, I'll get the hot rollers to you. When do you need them? Okay, I could probably get them to you by then. Let me make myself a note. Well, one of them is broken. Well, there's not much I can do about that. Beulah broke it. I know she breaks everything. Uh, she had a dog tear up one of her Christmas wreaths, and now she wants her money back. <laughs> well, I don't know what I'm going to do about it. It probably depends on how much jewelry she buys from me. You know, her daughter's got that wedding coming up. Maybe they could buy some jewelry. Well, if she buys enough jewelry, I may just, um, I may just give her money back for the wreath. I haven't made up my mind yet. Oh, well, I hope your party goes great. Yeah. You have to do some stretches beforehand? Hmm. What kind of stretches? You gonna be playing volleyball? Hmm. Well, considering the fact that the weather's not supposed to be very warm, I mean, it's not supposed to get up over 30 any day this next couple weeks. You think that's wise? To be outside playing volleyball? That's none of my business, I don't guess. Oh, you're going to Western Auto to pick up a volleyball and some other stuff for your party. Oh, well. Okay, well, good luck to you. I'll let you go. Okay, Carol. Bye. Howard, I believe I'm going to go to Western Auto right now. It's very urgent that I go now. Yes. Well, who knows what I might see there.